Hey, you got Fox here. Today I want to talk about the Ultimate Master. Uh, we got some new solos and team heroes and my thoughts on all this. And you, you know a lot of these players and their stats already from a lot of the YouTubers. I put out videos. You can go check it out on Mutthead, the program breakdown and whatnot. But I kind of want to talk about my thoughts on this Ultimate Master and specifically the lack of head-to-head -head requirements involved. Now, there, um, see Mad Dog had a pretty good post I just read on the Mutt subreddit. Um, he beat me to the punch on it, but it, it echoes a lot of thoughts that I myself have on this promo. Um, EA, it feels like they've lost sight of why a lot of us play the game. Now, I'm not saying everybody. There are just solo grinders out there that just want to grind the solos, play against the CPU, and build their team um, just to see their team go up. But like a lot of this, like, what's the point? Why have we been playing head-to-head -head these last few months? Um, that Mutt Master required head-to-head. Um, here for this Gronkowski, midseason master did not, and at that point we're like, okay, well maybe ultimate master will provide a head-to-head. -head. So let's let's stack these competitive badges. Um, but we find out today that they do not require the competitive badges. There's no trade-in set for elite badges. There are what is it, seven million coins to construct this Dion with the elite badges all required for the team MVP master. Uh, so it, it comes down to EA. It feels like, how do I want to say this? I, I think there are four legs of Mutt. There's the solos, grinding the auction house, pack openings, and head-to-head. -head. Now, which of those four were left out? It seems like EA lost touch with the reason we play Mutt and to play head-to-head, -to, -head, to play against other players. I mean, that's what draws people watching Madden to watch people go get, like on Twitch. You don't see people... Uh, grinding solos, unless they're grinding something specific, um, to drive engagement. I, I don't know. This this feels like I don't have my thoughts fully put together yet, but it, it hmm. I'm just frustrated, I guess. It feels like there's been a lot of misses this year in Mutt, and this is another one on top of it. And I hate being so dang negative. Like this past week, I've put out three negative videos. One, this one, the podcast with GPH, and then the EA's putting us on a wheel video. And that's more than I've done in, like, in 16, I think I did three negative videos. I, I So it's frustrating because I'm mainly a head-to-head -head player. And, and I got no dog in this fight because I wasn't going to do this mutt master anyway because I just avoid the solos. I know that's just not part of who I am. So maybe this isn't coming from somebody with a lot of credibility because I wasn't going to do it anyways. Um, now... They've done a really good job, in my opinion, now a lot of people disagree with this, of appeasing the solo players. But, you know, at the, at the beginning of the year when they took out the head-to-head -head seasons, everybody pitched a fit and they were like, it's going to be okay. And they didn't realize, like, head-to-head -head players, we need a goal. There's no reason to play head-to-head -head except to stack more coins. And the coins that we get from head-to-head -head is to build our head-to-head -head squads to get more coins to build our head-to-head -head squad. There's no, like, final reward for us there's nothing that we're actually shooting for there's no lawyer malloy we had there was like two weekends all year worth playing head-to-head -head with a reward and that was because of jake stein's events that he put together um and they he coded for those rewards or emmett smith that wasn't uh jake stein's but that was uh the head-to-head -head ladder reset so it, it's frustrating in the end you know with those three of the four legs you know i know i know a dog can walk with three legs, you can only can stand, you can run. But let me tell you, because the dog can't, I'm sure he wants that fourth one. We right now are being treated like dogs, it feels like, us head-to-head -head players. You know, it, the only reason to grind is for those salary cap tournaments, the DC tournaments. Maybe that's the focus of Madden going forward. But it definitely, it definitely hurts. And now, I, I can't knock the effort of EA employees. They make mistakes from time to time. Bit they put out a ton of content today. I got to commend them for that one. It just it seems like the vision isn't there. Maybe the management is just terrible. And I've said this before. It feels like that the the day to day employees of EA, the boots on the ground, work incredibly hard, and they put in more hours than anybody. Probably put in more hours of work than anybody I know. But it seems like the management, like the the structure, the focus of these programs is just terrible. And, and I've, I've kind of gone on long enough with my rant. So I guess the other complaint I have is these MVPs. Um, you know, 
I myself, I guess I can consider myself a YouTuber. And us YouTubers know all about clickbait. And it, it, I feel like I knew last night when um, they announced these MVPs that it, there is just some bullshit mid-level players for these teams because, you know, EA clickbaits. Uh, but for people that trust EA, besides this Aaron Donald, the MVP master, these guys were not the MVPs of these teams. Like, if you're a Steelers fan and you hear there's an MVP card the next day coming out for teams, you're hyped for either new Antonio Brown or Le'Veon Bell card. Steven Tewitt came out. We'll scroll down here to the Steelers. This is not the MVP of the Steelers squad. So, I think uh, some, some of their titling hurt a lot of people's expectations for this promo because they did a lot of work, did a lot of good stuff getting this in. Some of the sets, I hate the elite badges for being required in all these sets. This feels like a game that is just you just rip packs and auction house hunt. I feel like that's what they've turned this game into. It's not about enjoying the grind, as C Mad Dog put it in his paragraph. Again, in the in the description, uh, the, it's not about building the team. They want us just to do that part of the game. They just want us to be involved with solos, ripping packs, and putting stuff in sets. Elite badges are annoying. There should be a competitive badge to elite badge set to get these things. 10 to 1 would be fine. For 10 competitive badges, you get one elite badge. There should be some sort of set like that. There's my feedback on these elite badges. I don't love how they're keeping the price of these sets up like that. I guess these would be very cheap sets without it. So... Um, I guess that's kind of what I have to say. These feel like this is what the position hero set should have been, though. With these gold players, maybe some elite players here. I don't know. I'm not a fan of the elite badges going into this kind of stuff. Yeah, I know it brings it value, but... All right. Let's move on. I think that's the end of the video. That's all I want to talk about. I've ranted for seven minutes. Hopefully you guys enjoy the player review tonight that I'm going to put up, and I will be streaming Saturday during the day. So let's talk about it then. Let's, let me hear what you have to say in the comments, too. Um, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I will see you tomorrow.